What's up, everybody? Welcome to another episode oh, yeah. of Here's the Scenario Podcast. I'm one of your hosts, Mike Feeney, being joined with me, as always, by Mike Cannon and also Brendan Sagalo. And we have a very special guest today. Excited to have him uh, in the studio. He's so goddamn funny. Ladies and gentlemen, the Long Island Lobster, Woo! Steve Brown is easy, everybody. Everyone's favorite. Uh, <laughs> he raises uh, his bird hands. poop to the head <laughs> of rubber bands on yeah. uh, Got shit on by a bird right before <laughs> this. So you're looking very pink, very red yep. right about now. Fresh. Just about the start the first layer of sweat yeah oh yeah you know when like because these lights it's are so a hot. hot yeah, yeah, yeah it's a yeah. little hot there's no moving air in here no so, but at least you're wearing gray yep. yeah because it won't pit up <laughs> yeah <laughs> well the uh but you were you said you were in montauk yeah, i was in montauk the last couple of days with my lady and you're and you're how old are you now i'm 46 so 46 so Damn. you're like and so you're aware of like you know the that uh, Kevin Hart thing. <laughs> what? He just drops it. <laughs> well, I forgot who he asked, but he's like, I'm 60. He goes, I'm 68 right now. And Kevin Hart goes, damn. <laughs> Don Cheadle. Don Cheadle, yeah. yeah. <laughs> he was like, <laughs> well, so, there, there is that thing that. of like, this is the first year of my life that I've managed to not, actually, that's not true. I already have had sunburn, but like I've managed so far to not get sunburned. But I, I've realized, I used to think the secret was put on 30. And then I would like forget to reapply or reapply like once. Now I think the move is like put on 50 and then reapply like two, one or two times. And we're good. Cause I've been using that spray. Oh, that's I, all think, I, use. I think spray I'm off sucks. the cream. I think I'm off the cream. Can't ever cream again. The cream takes so long. It takes so long to cream. I, it, and it, it gets it, all, it, all sandy and all like that. 15 yeah. minutes. Wherever and, you lay the first spot of cream, that's covered. The yeah. rest yeah. is like, well, Maybe. How much well, yeah. can be mixed on here? If you have kids, you have the, yeah. the zinc shit too sometimes yeah, that just never fades in. So you literally look like a vampire in the sun. <laughs> yeah. the time. Yeah. I saw a kid at it's the beach like nuts. that. Yeah, it was really funny. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> I'm kind of just watching you guys. You know, like, <laughs> I'm like, I'm like this. If I was listening to this podcast, that's what I would be doing on my couch. I go, yeah, yeah, me too. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, I didn't think you guys could hear me. <laughs> that was like a worst. That was like an acid trip. Nightmare. Yeah, you're like, whoa. <laughs> <laughs> my radio, radio works. So, but it is funny to think I, I, because I had the last time I got sunburned, I had that thought to myself of like, I'm fucking. Am I ever gonna get to an age where I do not? Like where I, yeah. I'm smart enough to not get sunburned. Yeah. And it's like, you it, never it, will. It is funny to think that like, <laughs> it is fun to think Older that like. Older than you, I assume. Right? Yeah. Yeah. I'm the I'm ghost 35. of Christmas future. Yeah. Yeah. That's what I'm saying. It's funny that in, in 10 years, I yeah. might be sitting here, you know, sweating with like, you know, an itch and being like, I just, how do yep. I keep missing this? There's no doubt It's the reapplication it. for me is because I'm a big water rat. So I'm in the ocean the majority of the time I'm at the beach. And what I'm not realizing is you know, it's just reflected off into your face and shoulders while it's That's like a magnifying glass. While when you try to justify where the sun is coming from and how strong it is. Yeah. I don't yeah. know anything about the sun. Here's what I know. My body forever has never accepted it on the capacity that most of the people that I hung out with do. So that being said, like I remember being in like fifth grade and going with Melissa Magri across the street, who was a hundred percent Italian. And she was putting on oil. And I thought that's what I had to put on, too. <laughs> yeah. And I came home, uh, like, oh and we had to go to the hospital. <laughs> and then, was, then you wait, yeah. like, 10 years. And I was dating this girl. And we went to the beach all day long. This is high school. Everyone's hanging out, you know, having a great time. But it was, like, overcast. And so I'm, like, I'm not going to. And then people started taking their shirts off. So I'm, like, I got to take my shirt off, too. Okay. And so then it was, like, I'm not getting burnt. But I totally did because when we went home shower, I went to the party after uh -huh. and I was Ugh. disgusting. Yeah. And then we got a room. The shower night. reveals all. Oh, the shower and the fur. <laughs> and you look, you're like, ooh, and you're like, oh, that's pretty. Kind. Yeah. And then you get in and that water hits you and you're like, there's a billion bees in here. Yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah. Me in a oh, yeah. At, at all this water is made of bees. Dude. Yes. Yeah. 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 It's it's the worst feeling, man. Because then once you get out, you see you you actually can see the error of your mistake. Oh, it's terrible. Do people still oh, do yeah. oil? Because I remember my oh, buddy. Yeah. Oh, yes. My buddy did the same thing. Italian kid 
but he passed it to my other friend who was not Italian, more German, and he <laughs> gave, he gave a real healthy spritz to his tits. And by the end of the day, he had a cooked piece of bacon that he oh, peeled Jesus off. Jesus It peeled off of his fucking body like a cooked piece of meat. Yeah. Flung it off, and he just had a raw, exposed. Yeah. Oh my like, god. I guess yeah. No, it, it's, it's bad. Like that night I got in high school, we tried to have sex that night. Me and my girlfriend, and we couldn't even. I couldn't. I, she's like, you're, you know that, I, dude, you're, you're making when you're, me hot. When you're sitting in yeah. bed and you you can put your hand this far away from your stomach and you feel that heat oh. like like almost as if like you're under a, a heat lamp and then yeah. you know and then what you gotta do sleeping. you gotta press her tits against your body and then push her off and look out your <laughs> and then you go I tits. have your boobs <laughs> yeah. I have your boobs mouths are mine yeah. <laughs> oh. oil I think is like the the Mediterranean's jump start like, right. you know like coming out of like. Like April, May, you'll uh -huh. see him. Like, I, because I remember my wife, she's 100% Italian. So she's spraying the sun. I go, I go, what is that? She goes, it's sunscreen. And I look at it, it's like banana boat oil yeah. with like oh 2% my. Brown bottle. With like Jesus. two sunscreen. But it's yeah. like, it's to get it going. Cause it's like, you know, I yeah. gotta get it. Dude, my wife's when your skin Italian. starts peeling too, you're, I mean, it's all over your face, dude. When, yeah, when you're, we were, like, you're like, you're like me old member in the summer. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. When yeah. we, when we went to Aruba, we were just in Aruba a couple weeks ago. My, like, my wife uses like eight. You know, yeah. it's like it's that it's that Italian thing of yep. being like she just cooks, yeah, in a good Oof. way. She bronzes, I guess, is what you. Could it's say. great. How good I does it feel up. that night though, when you're like passing out and you're like it that the whole exhaustion from the beach? Oh, just being, being tired. Like, there's nothing better. The oh. Aloe. Oh, and I lost my glasses. I went to the I I immediately the glasses you found the glasses I found so I didn't feel I went. Oh, I'm even Stevens. You gave. I back. felt nothing. Yeah, you but gave, I was like, you, well, you Maria condoed it. You, yes. you thank them for their contribution to your joy, and then yeah. you gave them back to the universe. But then the rest of the day, the beach was just so fucking miserable because there was just the sun going into my... Oh, God, your yeah, little pale I peeper. Like, oh. I was going to say, the blue <laughs> eyes. Yeah. I'm finding that with oh, Leo tough, is I that, like, like, I had Leo out this morning, and, like, that overcast sky, blue eyes, he was kind of like, he's like, dude, this sucks. You yeah. know, like, he just... It is the blue eye thing. It's mm -hmm. they're way more yeah. sensitive, you know. But I immediately went into the water and I was like, like Jess, Jess had her glasses. She's like, oh fuck, I left my, I didn't leave my glasses. I'm like, it's fine because I think I did it before. And I was like, it's fine. I immediately went in. The wave was like, pff, went up. <laughs> not even like I was telling Nicole this. Not even like a warning of like, put them in your pocket, dude. You know what I mean? They were just. Gone. gone. They were gone. I was like, I like tried to go back and I was like, ah, went, went under. Hopefully, if I You're came feeling, up, you I see an octopus in cool shades and <laughs> swimming away. <laughs> this, this. <Yeah. laughs> Slipping um, you off with one of his uh, eight tentacles. So yeah. this morning, I uh, I almost didn't make it here, Steve, uh -oh. uh, because last night I was summoned by the courts of this city. To participate in jury duty. Really? And uh, I had already deferred it once, so I couldn't get out of it. They made it explicitly clear if I don't show up, I'll be held in contempt oh, and, yeah. uh, and face up to like a $1,000, $2,000 fine. Um, can I ask, oh. can I ask, did you, how many times did you never even open that letter up first? No, I've opened it because I, I, you know. It they, scares me. I open it up list. immediately. I, I never open oh, it up. Oh, I throw it directly in a wood chipper yeah. and pretend I never, even never saw lived it. at that <laughs> so funny. I don't know what you're talking about. That's Until so you come funny. knock on my door and say, like, it's time to do the jury. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Oh, no. <laughs> Can't they arrest <laughs> you they've only, they can hold you in Come and get me. Yeah. For what? Judgito. For not doing jury duty. Isn't it against the law? How did I get it? I What? That's true. <laughs> what are you talking about? That's true. Did you text me it? That's true. They play you this. Yeah. Clip Nobody from emailed this me jury duty. There you go. That's true. This you want is me true. to get it? True, eh? there, there there send is an a, email. Yeah. And I don't know I what you're talking about. I door. have noticed a surprising amount of people that I've told this to have been like, I just never yeah. respond or answer Ever. Just wow. ignore it. And you're like, that's when's the last time you did jury duty? Never. <laughs> oh no, I did it. I did it uh I will tell you when. What was the movie? Because I I had a I got an audition. For this movie that I had to try to make, what was the, what Seth Rogen went on cross country with his with his mom on a car? Oh, the uh, the fucking the road trip that yeah. year, something of yeah. that, whatever yeah. that. Yeah. With the year before that, Barbara <laughs> Streisand was like auditioning right? for the guilt trip. trip. Uh, the guilt trip. trip. So 2011, I did. Uh, I done 20 uh, <laughs> look at 2011. His, look at his chubby face. Yeah, yeah man. Brendan. I auditioned for that, not for the thin. not for that role, Easily. but uh, for the movie. And no, so, he's bigger than so. You. you auditioned for his role? No, 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 no. I just auditioned for another role in the movie, but I had to go to the audition for that. So it was probably the year before. So, um, twenty eleven. So yeah. So okay. So anyway. So I <laughs> that this, is your. Face, I send an email. <laughs> I send an he's, email. He's a cute looking guy. 
Yeah, dude, he's ripped now. Yeah, I don't like how he looks now. Oh, everyone gets ripped. I think he looks great. I like him. Like people this. are worried about Jonah Hill. Well, he he's looks like, really sick. That's a Zempic. Yeah, dude. Is it really? Well, because he has a giant noggin, so it's just <laughs> crazy when he loses weight. Everything Lollipop. but his fucking huge, huge ass ears and his fucking nose and his dome. It's gotta be a yeah. middle ground. It's yeah. gotta be someone that goes, "All right, all right, all right." We're yeah, yeah, round and third, dude. Much, Look at much. that. He looks yeah, like yeah, the yeah. yellow-headed son from Sin City. <laughs> Now, I gotta say, do look we, do well, we look his eyebrows that picture. Honestly, oh. I think it's just because his eyebrows no, are missing. No, man. His it's arms, his ears. No, it's a maniacal huge. smile. It's the too. ears are huge. His arms and chest looks pretty great. He's Holy also bald, 100%. No, I'm happy that I think healthy. if you cut his ear off and threw it, it would come back. That's how big it is. It is a big ear. <laughs> <laughs> Not that he looks just like that guy. <laughs> oh exactly <laughs> like him. That's Jonah Hill. <laughs> You're a bad guy. You're a bad guy. Oh, come on, man. Uh, I don't know. I feel like if you didn't know what he looked like before, you'd be like, that guy's not the worst. Yeah, that, uh, that's must be like a too bad. motivational trainer. No, yeah. that's you terrible. You Even like worse, <laughs> that yellow guy has never told a surfer girl not to surf. <laughs> oh, yeah, that, I don't want you hanging out with them. He's up front about it. <laughs> if you don't, what, are you wearing a bikini? <laughs> Those are Around your words. friends. He's being transparent. <laughs> so I, Feeney thinks he's going to fucking work with him one day. <laughs> that's how he's like, I'm no, no, like, no. Uh, look, look, I'm, look I'm who's coming to dinner part four. <laughs> no, no, wait, till you, <laughs> wait till you guys get to the end of this story and maybe you'll see. Okay. Oh. <laughs> All right. I'm fucking, I want to see. Let's go. So maybe, Judge Hill presiding. Yeah. Maybe, <laughs> maybe there's a tie in to Jonah Hill after all. He might, Please you immensely. Hit me. That might be the best on the on the spot comp I've ever had in my That's life. That's a good one. Great. Exactly. It's like crazy them. that they're making the same. <laughs> yeah. yeah, and the yeah. teeth are very the, similar. It, yeah, the teeth are, are the perfect gap. The one on the right skin looks better. I don't even know if he has bottom teeth. <laughs> he might not have bottom teeth anymore. If they are, he's they're only pointing. showing all the Dude, tops. Jonah also got very excited about his stomach because he went for the high tuck too. He went straight to Cuban man. Yeah, fifties. Yeah, and it's I just love. Like I, can't, really I could never good. do that. He was, that. you know, so depressed, good. I guess. No, I, hey, point. feel yourself, J.H., himself. feel yourself. Yeah. But it is a wild leap to be the yeah. fat guy, and then all of a sudden That's just wear Yeah, maybe buy a mirror you haven't punched yeah. and look in it. Well, he looks like Elvis in Jailhouse Rock. It's like, <laughs> what is your outfit, dude? Yeah. <laughs> We uh high waisted up yeah, there. Dude. Yeah, he looks like Clint Eastwood. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> he looks Get like off he, my lawn. He looks like he's about to tune up he's, his wife he's for like, not having <laughs> dinner ready. Yeah. He's like, don't you dare post pictures of you in bikinis. <laughs> <laughs> that's that's Clint Eastwood, Clint. dude. I don't know. Fucking nasty. that was my first attempt at cleaning. No, <laughs> you practiced. You got it Definitely practiced that. Come on, I am, give dude, yourself some I'm credit. That you I finished for the work that went into that. <laughs> you had a lot of time. I have a bunch that. of bits written down that on my arm. <laughs> hey guys, um, yet. Did you ever hear the, did you ever hear the one about <laughs> Clint Eastwood? <laughs> I, hear I think you would go a little something like this. this. Yeah. So well, I want to hear this story. So I go, I go to, uh, I, I, I have no recourse. They, they go nine to five is when it's the office is open. So if you have a problem that you need to talk to about them, they said an emergency, call this number. And I called that number after I found out at 502 that I had jury duty. I called that number and they were like, our office hours are nine to 5 p.m. Yeah. By the way, you have what? to be at jury duty tomorrow at nine. So you yeah. can't wait until nine and then call and be like, do I have to come? And they're like, you should already be here. What's <laughs> happening? So I- uh, so On I, my way. So I go, I got no recourse. I'm, I'm throwing a Hail Mary. I am going to bring Leo, my nine-month-old kid, with me to jury duty. Very risky, I because think, if they're like, yeah, you can come Yeah, in. the risk is And like, bring the baby. The risk yeah. is... That, <laughs> yeah. And the baby votes, too. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Let's get an innocent vote. <laughs> the risk is that uh, this will completely destroy his entire nap schedule, yeah. day's eating schedule. It throws everything off. You'll find if, out if his this, racial biases. If this doesn't work, yeah. <laughs> Not a fan of delivery. Yeah. Um, but so he... Uh, so we, uh, you know, we we go there. I get there right at nine o'clock. Immediately, one of the security guards is like, "Are you here for jury duty?" Because I went to the entrance on Google Maps. So like, it's like four football fields that way. And he goes, yeah. and I was like, I point to the to Leo, and I go, "What am I? What am I supposed to do with? You know what I mean?" And then yeah. he was like, "I don't know, man." He goes, "You?" Uh, I go, "I tried to call them, and they didn't answer." He goes, "Yeah, they never. They'll never answer." <laughs> and I go, oh, "Awesome." And he awesome. goes. He goes, and just to let you know, when you go around that corner, there's like a bunch of steps. So like, I don't know, you're probably gonna have to lift that stroller up. Jeez. And I'm like, 
Okay, so I go. Good thing I, it's not a wheelchair, guys. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All the help. yeah. <laughs> I, I guess people in wheelchairs are not allowed to uh, to be a juror. Or something. Oh man, I wish I was paralyzed. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> that can be a reason. Yeah. <laughs> uh, so I go around the, I walk the football field. I get over to the steps, and now I'm looking at at the top of like these twelve steps. I see like two security guards and the metal detector, and it's like a single tiny lane where I'm already going. And they're looking at me and I'm looking at them almost in like a, is there another entrance or like, will someone, I almost would be like, I don't want their help, but I want someone to make an effort to help. Sure. And I'll just click him backwards up every yeah. step. And so I just look at them. They look at me. I turn, I spin the thing around and I'm like, all right. And I go up the first one. And the guy goes, wait, 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 wait right there. Wait right there. And he comes out with a pen. He like clicks it right in front of me and then goes, let me see your jury thing. He goes, fill this out. I'm going to get somebody to talk to you. So I go, okay. So I start filling the thing out. The guy comes outside and he's like, no child care. And I go, no child care. And he goes, all right. He goes, just finish filling that out. He goes, I'll sign it. He goes, you're good for two years. He's like, and wow. then if they, he goes, and then if they Here's do, your Puerto Rican mother release card. Yeah. <laughs> he goes, and, yeah. and then if you do in two years, if you do have, still don't have child care, um, just send us a copy of the birth certificate and you're you're all set. And then, because the that's worst awesome. part, the, the, which was amazing, still, uh, and it was, I didn't even get in the building and that's how quickly I got dismissed, which I thought. Imagine I just, that guy doesn't even work there. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> I just read a viral video that, like, or a viral, like, news story that happened just two days ago of a woman bringing her triplets to court because she couldn't, she couldn't just get bring out one, of it. Maybe? Well, not if you have triplets. <laughs> oh, I thought she's scamming. I thought she was <laughs> she was also scamming. Would she like 3D you. print the other two? <laughs> no, I'm yeah. saying of us are, if she was us scamming them, all you'd have to do is bring one baby. One baby. Neither yeah. of them. Now the rest scamming. of you wait in this have, car. I don't <laughs> have time. Yes, well, yes, I guess yes, scam the government. But, they will not believe the three of you. But we'll believe one. But yeah, but so she brought the babies and they like they went like viral, I guess, because the kids were there or whatever. And they they kept her there for two and a half hours before eventually dismissing her. So I was walking in being like, this might take an hour or two. Yeah. And me, I didn't even get in the building, which was amazing. The only downside was when that guy came out and was talking to me or whatever. And he was like, what do you do for work? And I was like, oh, I'm a, I'm a comedian and stuff. And then oh, he was like, no, I know. And then he was like, all right, why would you so, say that? Because he was like telling me how to fill out full time, like, you know, like uh, employer number and all that other stuff. So I was like, I don't have like, uh, you want me to write every, and he was like, no, no, you don't have to write any of that. He like, and then he goes, all right, well, he's like, you're going to miss a fun day in here. He goes, probably get a ton of jokes and material out that's, of this thing. Yeah. And you're like, <laughs> for, for a profession yeah. that I am so proud to be a part of, I have never turned my back on it more times than when I people <laughs> that. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, me too. I will never tell. Lyft drivers, yeah. people. What I just do you say I work nights. I've had literally <laughs> Lyft drivers drop me at the club with, I'm pulling out posters with the picture right there. Yeah. Like, mm -hmm. That's not you. And I'm like, no. I gotta I, go. I, I usually tell him, but it's followed by a, me trying to figure out what to say and then just go, comedian. <laughs> like, it's, oh. it comes with very much like, here we I'd go. Say, yeah, I'd no, say I'm, tell me a joke is is probably uh, four out of every ten times yeah. someone says that. And it always, to me, is people in like weird positions of power, like doctors, when you like go to oh, a doctor's office yeah. and they got you in the room and you've waited for them and then they're like, comedian? Tell me, and then you're like, you gotta have a joke I've already, stuck. dude. Yeah, no, I, I've, I am, I've told that same thing. The last two dentists I've had told me my first visit how they just tried stand up for the first time. That's great. <laughs> and they're like, yeah, it was like a funniest doctor thing at Gotham Comedy Club. I killed. And then they're like picking at my teeth, blood spurting everywhere. <laughs> <You> know, <laughs> easiest thing to transition it's into. Fucking insane. Oh, yeah. So old, many people can dabble. Yeah. It's a yeah. fun thing. It's yeah. a real dabble lifestyle that we've committed to but, forever. But imagine how often athletes <laughs> get like told by people like the either like I would have gone pro tour or like no I played some ball in my day yeah, too yeah. and like oh, oh where'd you yeah, play and they're yeah, like yeah 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 like oh, I was in like this rec league where I did uh we did half courts every Thursday and you're like oh okay you know like yeah. the amount of it's just and I feel like athletes because not everybody when they're a kid no one when they're kids everyone hangs out and does stand up comedy you know what I mean yeah, it's yeah, like yeah. everybody plays basketball but everyone everybody plays baseball. does think they're funny Everyone does think they're funny, yeah. for sure. Everyone does yes. think they're funny. Uh, and but now, I and think I don't know if I've said this on this podcast, but 
I will reiterate, we're currently in the P. Diddy and Mace period of stand-up comedy <laughs> because that's when hip-hop first became mainstream and then people that are not fans are just learning about hip-hop. They like it and then they have input on it as if they have any fucking clue what they're talking about. And that's what stand-up is. Stand-up has reached critical mass. We are now generally popular amongst everybody, amongst like the general public. And people that aren't funny, have never been funny, have never even had a funny consideration of a thought are having are you know giving review on funny <laughs> and that's why everybody's offended and upset yeah it fucking sucks and everybody says well, the same yeah. thing they're always they're always like you ever get into an argument with someone and they're like you're a comedian you're, you sh- and that's all you got yeah. and you're like fuck you everyone says that but you don't even know that <laughs> yeah <laughs> or you don't even know how a new you are. one for you <laughs> yeah hurt me i got into a <laughs> it still hurt that's my son's like- baseball game he was the other coach like there was an argument about a call with the umpire <laughs> and the other coach was arguing and i and, it was about a tag. Did he get tagged or not? And I'm like, no, we, our whole side, you know, we're sitting there goes, we saw him got tagged. And the other coach goes, you don't get the count funny man like that. Like, like I, oh, my opinion, man, funny yeah. man. And he goes, funny oh. man, you, you, you don't know what you're talking about. Funny. Like, like I didn't, like, I don't have eyes. I can't see <laughs> yeah. Like, yeah. Like, in front of me. You look at <laughs> yeah. the world silly. But my credibility yeah, right. was completely <laughs> denied because of my profession. That was, that's that was it. You, you say anything. They're like, let's take this serious. Yeah. Okay. yeah. This is a serious yeah. call. Yeah, like this a well, we, need a, well, we need a banana peel. We'll let you know. Yeah. That's, yeah. Wasn't that like a Twilight Zone episode where some guy was a comedian? He like w- wished to be like really funny, and nobody took him fucking seriously. Like the whole twist is he's his wife is like laughing as he's dying or something like that. What? No, I've never seen that episode. Wasn't this a Twilight Zone episode? Oh, I don't know. Maybe. Right. Well, I, whatever. Is it like an Are You Afraid of the Dark? Maybe it feel or like a Goosebumps or yeah, something. Yeah, you know what I, I mean? think it was it's a like one of my those. kids are borderline not being able to take me seriously. Especially like the few times that I'm like, guys, we got to really fucking get straight here. Yeah, right? yeah. <laughs> exactly, exactly. Like, yeah, like, it's hard. Like, it's hard. What man. are you talking it's about? It's hard to switch modes. It is yeah. right when you said borderline not. I was like, is he finishing with yeah. Nazi? Yeah. <laughs> are his kids borderline Nazi? <laughs> By the way, did you tell the part about your baby yelling the N word the entire time while yeah. they were filling out the paperwork? That's He's what like, you gotta yeah. do. It's my like, son has some objectionable yeah, opinions. Yeah, 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 yeah. I don't like the Filipinos. <laughs> <laughs> All the Kawa contact no. lenses. Where's the off? <laughs> button on this kid. Yeah, huh? yeah, yeah. yeah. Oh, we're going to a rally now. <laughs> <laughs> he just pulls out a mini sign. <laughs> it was it was wild, though, because it was a big risk, you know, because I really thought, I thought, I didn't think I'd not make it in the building, but I did think it'd be like, go through security, sign in, tell them. They'd be like, all right, we'll go talk to some, because those people at the desk, they're like, they're so far removed from even being middlemen. They're yeah. like, it's just like, it's a, it's a, it's a ladder of middlemen. Right. So you're a like, did you, you have a, did you have, I'm sorry. No, no, you did go. Did you have a plan in your head of like making, you know, like having to go through metal detector. It's like, be like, oh, you know, like, oh, baby. Oh. like TSA, they're like, well, all of this is like, like I, I would have I, I, yeah, made a big, yeah. I oh, this would have yeah. been a big deal that this baby was here with me. Yeah. yeah we th- purposely didn't, I didn't purposely didn't give him a nap before yeah. we left because when I wanted you, him just to pinch be him. Optimal. Does anyone know where well, the poop nasty. comes out? Yeah. Like, some of these <laughs> workers, like, <laughs> where's the changing <laughs> station? Yeah. yeah. Some of these workers though, are, could be like such assholes where they're like, they'll see that and they'll go, let him suffer. Yeah. But you know what? Every, that's what I was anticipating, but everybody was actually super cool. Well, that's cool. Which was like, which was at least nice. there was humanity. It made me believe in humanity. Well, because as of like eight years ago, the the idea of a father taking care of their child alone was like unheard of. Yeah. So you are a superhero to that. Yeah. But in like, <laughs> you're a Tom Selleck. I, I bet. I bet in like a time before empathy exists, like the '80s or something. If a mom brought her kid, she probably got through. It's fine. And then somebody from like the uh, the family court was like. We're taking away your kid. Like, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. This is and while you're here, brutal like, treatment. Walking in with a pipe in your pocket, and you're like, "Oh fuck!" And they take it away. <laughs> yeah, you have a bag of weed or something. Dude, like, that's oh. how someone I know got like arrested. This was like when weed was really still super illegal. They had jury duty and walked in with like a used pipe, and they got fucking arrested for it. And they had to like pay all pay fines and stuff. A, was it, it a metal pipe? Was, or was her it a glass name? pipe? It was a glass pipe. Just keep it in your pocket. What do you mean? Why would you go? She, to, why would you? Put it it in a a or may, oh no, it was a metal one. It was that oh. one where it was like 
Remember that one where you like can unscrew the thing? Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's and had like a yeah. wind protector. Yeah, that yeah. has coated all of our lungs with unheard of metals. <laughs> oh yeah. yeah. I mean, for Forever. like two years when I first started smoking, <laughs> it was like yeah, dude. it was like Pepsi cans broken into and like oh yeah, Mexican dirt weed out of fucking sprayed metal. Yeah, disgusting. Yeah, you can just feel yourself becoming a T one thousand. Yeah, for a while I thought the flames were green because of the weed. Yeah, you're like, look how cool this is. I had one of those moments in Montauk. I'm walking past this bar, the Tipperary Inn. Yeah. I, yeah. So all of a sudden I'm like, just like I had like a Jason Bourne like flashback. Like, what the fuck? I, I, how do I remember this place? And then last night I saw a high school friend. He's like, yeah, we went there after prom. Like it was like the biggest <laughs> thing that we've ever done in our lives. I'm like, wow. you passed out in front. I was like, oh, yes. I'm like, that happened. That's outstanding. Yeah. yeah. Like my memory of that was complete until I saw it. And I was like, <laughs> your body just recognized it. Yeah. Subconsciously. You know what is funny too? I think about my like after prom thing. And I've told the story on here before, but like my prom was weird because the girl, the girl I was dating at the time, I, we broke up. I broke up with her a week before prom, but that's like long after all of the plans had been made. And she was like, you're still taking me to prom. Right. And I was like, Great. Uh huh. And then were so we you just... planning on going with another person? No, I was gonna go single. But you wanted to yeah. hook up. Yeah, yeah. So then <laughs> now it's you're, like now you're. So now I'm stuck. Yeah, now you're. Yeah. Now I'm okay. stuck with a girl. So then it pivoted to like we didn't like we were like sitting like back to back, and then she's like, of course, upset. And so there's like that lingering like the friendship table is like, do you think you'll talk to her? Like there's that. I don't whole, know. Like, I might have to. We're sitting next to each other. Thing. What the fuck is and waste? Then, <laughs> and oh. then like yeah, it was really like becoming a waste, and I was so like bummed. Uh, and then it started switching to like. Well, maybe. Oh, yes. It is. Well, prom. perhaps I played my cards correctly. Yeah, <laughs> yeah right. <laughs> she she is interested in getting back together. Oh, what right? I yeah. what I've been looking for has been right in front of me. Yeah. This entire time. <laughs> and so, a warm body. <laughs> and so I think I think like literally the last dance, which I saved uh, for her. I I was I I we danced together and then. I was like, you know, we're all go. We all had plans to go to like this big Marriott, and we all had like a block of rooms, and we were just gonna drink in the rooms and stuff like that. So, uh, Fuck yeah. I invited her back to that, but she was like, "It's too late. Like, I already have plan. Like, I'm going somewhere else, and every all the limos are going different yeah. places." Yeah, did and she all that pay stuff. for her fucking share? What? I don't care for that. Oh, that's, <laughs> that's a good question. Yeah. Oh, that that is down. Question. Not at all. Oh, it's a ticket. She's making yeah. alternative plans and then still demanding because to go together. Yeah. Is like a hundred bucks. Yeah. The limo, everyone split per couple. You didn't yeah. do per person. I'm not, no, no, I'm no, not no. saying she owes you sex. I'm saying she owes to be miserable in your company the entire yeah, year. You're yeah. going to be miserable. Yeah. She's yeah. got to be your co-pilot. Yeah, yeah, it was a bummer because then she, I was like, damn, that was really like, you know, swing it. And then I was like, ah, I probably should have waited to break up with her or whatever. But then I was like, you know, then that would have been even more pot committed at that point. It was the, the breakup was already not going well. Uh, so then, <laughs> so then we went to, uh, <laughs> a lot of late calls. I think that's threats, pretty much uh, called you know? a successful breakup. Then. Yeah, yeah, it's yeah, working. Yeah. That's called a yeah, successful breakup. A lot breakup. of like, call me back or else is, you know, so I was, it uh, actually it seemed like great. the breakup yeah. was great. Where it was yeah, working she, perfectly. She it was, confirmed it, the breakup. It, yeah, it was confirmed. All right. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> she's like, by the way, thanks for yeah, taking yeah. me to this magic night yeah it was like the bill so, yeah yeah so i'm then, gonna go and get fingered by your friend so then we went back to <laughs> we went back to like the hotel and she went wherever the fuck she went and uh but all of my friends were like you know there was some of my friends who were smart who were like they skipped the formal part and they just met us at the hotel and got the room and i was yeah like, i remember even that night i had being friends like, that too Oh fuck you! Parts fun. Yeah, they they went wasn't and took pictures yeah. in like so it was like t-shirts and jeans. Yeah, and you're like get the fuck out of these. But pictures. even with your boys, but you make an oh, entrance, dude. You're like the new people. They yeah. been like sweating and hanging out. Yeah, yeah, yeah. There's yeah. already yeah. been like alliances made. All of a sudden, it's like, oh my <laughs> yeah. god, yeah. fucking Feenies. Yeah. I didn't know he was coming. Yeah. Everybody oh got my a fucking suit on. And now and everyone's fucking. Let's switch up plans. Feenies, the new guy. Funeral. Is there anything better than wearing a fucking suit into a bar and kind of having a cry stain? Dies Every, and ripping yeah, whiskey. Dude. And nothing's better. And yes. everyone that's why everyone <laughs> and everyone jockeys better. for your position, yeah. your allegiance. So you're fresh, you smell good. Yeah. yeah. So I had this whole idea, like I just because I had seen it so cliche in movies, we like I I forced everybody to like fill up the bathtubs with ice so that we could put all of like we filled up bathtubs. How'd you full force of, them? Well, I was just, I really I, everyone bring yeah. three pounds of ice yeah. a piece. You have no, that's your date by finger. You're like was, I, I, for every I, minute there is an ice in the tub. She loses a finger. I'm more peer pressured and convinced everyone of how awesome it would be. But what we didn't anticipate was like the amount of times going back and forth to the 
oh, ice yeah. machine, machine with that little bucket. It's yeah. way yeah. more ice. And how do we keep these body parts cold? Yeah, I'm, not, <laughs> I, I, I'm not sure, but I can guess that you guys also haven't given proper consideration to how many strange folks have actually dipped their naked bodies in those tubs. Oh, man. I would oh. never put any because that is. Holy word. <laughs> you just can. thought of that for the first we time ever. Right? right now. You're kidding me they were right cans. now. No, they were cans and bottles. Yes. It, wasn't, oh, like, it wasn't like you were making loose. jungle juice yeah, in there. He was. He was. Yes, he was. But, uh, but, but I remember our. There's nothing you can say. But our, <laughs> the guy next, the person in the room next to me, they were like. He's saying he's got a big stick. He's like, I'm yeah. making all you <laughs> Like Miss Hannigan and Annie, little girls, little girls <laughs> everywhere. Just it's mixing Feeny. the tonic in a tub. It's Feeny and Meatloaf in the yeah. basement of Fight Club. <laughs> depression, dude. You never fucking. With a soup <laughs> ladle, a soup ladle is going. That's good. What year was your prom? 1929? A little more juice. Yeah. yeah. Oh you have God. one fucking. In overall on with one off. So I <laughs> there's catfish swinging swimming in it. So, so we got the koi fish pond going, and uh, but there was there was an adjoining room I had with somebody else, which was like a couple. Which for some reason I don't remember why they weren't really a couple, but they were kind of like there was a rumor if they will or won't they, and they went to prom together. But then it seemed like nothing was going to happen. So then I was like, maybe I'll make a move. You know what I mean? Nice. Uh, Hold on one second. Yeah, yeah. This yeah. is Long Island to a fucking T. Yeah, dude. just. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> it's that South Park thing with the boobs on the. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Oh, 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 oh. So they, they, uh, yeah, they ended up going into the room to have sex. Uh, nice. But, uh, but they didn't because oh. the condom broke. Oh, oh! And then they just sat next that to each other. That stopped him. <laughs> well, it's weird. It stopped him because of her. But then also, I remember like it being like a weird source of embarrassment for him. Like, yeah. it was, like it was spinned as kind of like oh, not like a freak accident, but like was, no, it was like what was the vibes after that? A- awkward, uncomfortable. But they were like <laughs> in their own uncomfortability, and we Oof. were just kind of drinking with like all the like. It ended up just be, it was so funny because I think like two of my friends crashed in my room, so just like you know. Three or four dudes, hey, boys being boys, yeah. bro, <laughs> getting Hell drunk yeah. in a Marriott off the LIE. Yeah. Breaking condoms. Yeah. 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 Can one, I, one losing dude, your virginity. The one dude trying to get laid and immediately ruining his only tram. <laughs> Isn't that Can, place Jake's 58 now? The, the it casino? is. That's yeah. exactly what it <laughs> really? is. It's a casino now. I know exactly where you tried to <laughs> fuck people. <laughs> <laughs> I know exactly where Exit that is. 58, wow. I, I think, passed off it on the, the way here today. Yeah, yeah. yeah. That is so funny. It's a casino yeah, now. I'm oh, in 61, so I pass it all the time. Yeah, yeah, People yeah. still taking chances there. Yeah. Uh, I want to tell this story. This is about my wife at, at oh. our at our post prom. And uh, Nicole, I might ask to cut this out later on. But here we so, go. So this is from high school. She was dating another guy named Mike at, at the time. He like while I wasn't even there, but this is Wildwood. Everybody goes down for the post prom weekend. So she hears at the other hotel. My, Nicole hears that he's hooking up with this other girl. So she goes to this other play to this hotel that's like you know <sighs> two buildings down, like a fucking guinea gangster, yeah, yeah, dude, love slamming it. on the fucking door. It's like cheese ball. <laughs> Get out! Get the fuck out! Love it. Like, wow. Open the door. Opens. The, he opens Jersey. the door. She's like you know. Like yeah. getting dressed like it's training day and Eva Mendez is back there packing gats. <laughs> and uh, Nicole just instantly just fucking Terminator runs in, grabs her hair, bing, <laughs> like, b- boxes the girl. The guy says something. She shoved him against the wall, walks out, grabbed all of his stuff, brought it back to that hotel, goes, hey, hey, you're cool, right? Threw his camera and every bit of his luggage into the hotel pool. Oh and was like, gang, God. gang. How and then old bounced. Is she? She's 18 years old. Wow. Yeah. Holy God, seven, shit, eight, dude. Don't seven, fuck with Nicole. Yeah, that's some real fucking that's Lisa like Lefty Lopez Shore. shit. Yeah, <laughs> shit. What the fuck? Yeah, yeah. That's oh my god. Yeah, I don't think I'll ever look at her the same. That's right. I don't think I'll ever get to look at anything because I'm too busy reading all these five star reviews. Hey, that we have. thank you guys. Whoa. Your, your reaction makes me think that should be cut out. <laughs> <laughs> no, I think. No, I mean, no, you know, I mean, it's I, it's how she's a young she criminal. Feel about it? Yeah, I mean, yeah, she's, yeah. she's fine. Everyone's she got a proud. Past. She should be proud of it. In my opinion, definitely wear it like a badge, but. It's like just, a vag badge, like a vag badge, but it is definitely eye opening a little bit, you know. <laughs> it's like, oh my god, who, who, you know. I'm yeah. gonna get rid of that hat. <laughs> I, I am. I'm gonna find a way to get rid of it. I'll be, buy it again. No, you won't. You can't face get rid of it. <laughs> <laughs> but then it'll be a happy face again once you get done reading this five star reviews. Uh, everybody, leave a five star review and uh, subscribe to the YouTube. Uh, here's a scenario. Watch the episode. Listening to it's fun, but you gotta watch. The, there's, there's a lot of darting and judgment. Should I show him something movement. you won't see? Yeah. yeah. This is why you go yeah. to YouTube. Ready for yeah. This? yeah. This is why you don't. Oh! Oh!
Oh my God! I Jesus mean, it, Christ! You never rotated, even Dude, a little. That's nope. unreal. Nope. Looks like Will a you, younger brother when his older brother is having a sleepover. Like Holy this. shit! Oh uh, yeah. yeah, your Did arms you get bullied. Down <laughs> Someone bully before you before you <laughs> got in here. Just I smack I, we drank two bottles of rosé. We had lunch on the beach. Wow! I I never realized when the sun came out. It's but so it did. Oh my God. <laughs> it definitely did. It, it came it, out with it was out. Yeah. Um, and you guys should also uh, come see us live. We will be performing uh, the three of us together in uh, the Algonquin uh, Performing Arts Center. Is that what it's called? Algonquin Arts Theater. Uh, 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 that. Um, yeah, September 16th. September 16th. In Manasquan, New we'll Jersey. be doing a live podcast and we'll each be doing uh, stand up uh, on it as well. They're super fun, the live shows. They're. Nothing uh, nothing like you've ever experienced. No, there's before. several hundred tickets left, too. So please yeah. get those <laughs> get at those any of our now, websites. Uh, right now. Steve, where can people find you? Uh, the following weekend, September 20th weekend, I'll be in Salt Lake City at Wise Guys. Nice. Okay. One of my favorite places to go. And then um, uh, Legion Skanks, the festival. Oh, oh yeah. Skank oh, yeah. Fest. Yeah, we'll yeah. all be Fest. there. Yeah. Uh, I'm going to the Comedy Loft in D.C. Nice. So, And then I'm going on a little tour with Shafir for two weeks on a bus. Oh, that'll be yeah. fun. That'll be yeah, great. That'll be fun. So. Hell yeah. Yeah, everything's on steverenisheasy.com. Nice. Oh, yeah. uh, Brendan? Speaking of dot coms, brendansaglo.com for tickets. East Providence, Rhode Island, August 24th. Loft Comedy in Chicopee, Mass., August 25th, and then Seattle, September 28th at the Hereafter. Come on out. Tickets are available at brennansagalo.com. Mike, Thank you. is there a more vulnerable feeling in the entire world than opening up your browser and the first thing up there is the last thing you jerked off to? <laughs> oh, I've, done, I've opened it up on planes where my computer, and it's still the sound going. <laughs> I put it on the fucking yeah, like, well, TVs on the plane. <laughs> I was worried that the camera caught it. I'm like, oh, yeah. God, it's terrifying. Um, yeah, so I'll be in uh, Clearwater, Florida, September 2nd, part of the Caltus Comedy Circus. I'll be at the Capitol Theater for that. Come out to that. September 16th again we're at the Algonquin Arts Theater I'm coming to LA I'm, I'll be at the Hollywood Improv October 20th and then uh, Flappers on October 21st doing my hour and then I'm in uh, Levittown DC you name it more shit coming in MikeCannonComedy.com for all that jazz October 7th Chicago October 7th doing two shows at the Den Theater uh, please get your tickets right now 7.15 and 9.15 show uh, tickets are on sale MikeFeeneyComedy.com um, that's the only thing I want to promote because I want them to be great shows, so please come out to that. And if you don't live in Chicago but know someone who does, now's the perfect time. Get on the phone. Tell, Tell them. them. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> Nicole? Nicole C. Lines on Instagram and subscribe to the YouTube at Here's the Scenario. Sweet. Yay. We are well past the halfway point. However, should we Is that do- just the kindest plugs? It just felt, it felt bubbly, you know? It was, it was really nice. I don't think anybody shit on anybody's, like, dates. Or- no, we're all no. like, go for it, hey, and subscribe to the YouTube. Support us. Oh, yeah. hey. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck you, bro. <laughs> yeah. I'm just picking up on Fuck it. Fuck your hat, man. The hat is, I think, subconsciously making me happier. I know. To be honest. Well, it's, oh, I, 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 I see it in the mirror and I go, smile. I like it. I'm only attacking yeah. it because of how it's, attached to it you are. Of course. Yeah, yeah I understand. I, I have a dog shirt that I haven't worn. You have a dog too. elbow. <laughs> I have a dog shirt that I really love right now that I haven't worn that much because I know I don't want it to be like, Hey, he's got his new dog shirt. Yeah. You know I can't wait for the next, look- the next 36 shows you do. There's photographers at that hat. will be on all of them. <laughs> Without the hat, though, you look Louis C.K., so I'm glad you're wearing the hat. Yeah, yeah. Get that fucking hat on. <laughs> he's already had that hat on yeah. for yeah. some Mine years. Mine would be... <laughs> <laughs> Louis C.K. Is, is this guy. <laughs> um, <laughs> <laughs> Ooh, ninja star! Ninja star! Oh, speaking of Ninja Star, Evan Bunn asked, what would be more worth it, going through the training to become a Spartan or training to become a ninja during their respective popular places in time? Ninja. Did he say, how, what was the question, though? Which would, would be more rewarding? Which would be more worth it. Oh. And it's got to be Ninja, well, always. But Ninja is way are longer. Are they going to take us? We're round eye. <laughs> like, I don't want to be. I don't want to be. At, like, yeah, yeah. Like, we're comedy. not Tom Cruise. I don't want to be yeah. surrounded. But yeah, like, they're like. Yeah. What is he doing here? Yeah. Yeah. Well, I, wanted, I mean, be- I, I'm not saying I would be feel more accepted <laughs> at a Sparta convention, but I feel like that's more of, I, can, is there a Highlander thing? Can I throw a, like, that's probably where my, race you, yeah. you just don't want to yeah. be caught wearing cornrows. You don't yeah. want to be called yes. appropriate. Yeah. 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 They, you they, you start, go through all the training and then they're like, Oh, look at you. You fucking idiot. Yeah. Stupid white devil. Yeah. You'll never have a job. Fuck you. <laughs> <laughs> 
like, <laughs> you're, like, you're dressed in You'll like, never have a ninja job regalia. You're ninja. like, no, no, no. Oh, I wanted to be the ninja. <laughs> they got me. Fuck. I don't know. I'm just trying to feel where I'm going to be most comfortable. Definitely not Sparta. Why? Dude, they, Why? Well, I really don't know much fucking, about it. They're an army. So like they they're sitting yeah, but that's around, a crew I can blend in. I they're shitting in hold on, hold on. You one at a time, please. Ren is easy. You're up. Yeah, give him space. Yeah, oh. yeah you just keep going. Give him space. <laughs> I want to hear this answer okay. because he, he came, came out it's a hot. so much passion with right. truly zero <laughs> words. <laughs> so I will say this: I I don't know a lot about this. I will open up oh. about that. But what I think is being nope. in the Spartan army, right? Uh, is don't just look at the backs of computer screens. You can't right? see call. Are you trying to agree <laughs> with Adele? Yeah. Like, hey, <laughs> you trying to make like connections with a computer? Yeah. So you're in the army. You're shitting on the floor and all that stuff. You know what I mean? Yeah. It's what not is your understanding of, of the, the army? Spartan army? You think they sure. had fucking inside? They invented. <laughs> you think they, they had inside? <laughs> Do you think? I mean, they, they had towns. Nicole, and please Google that the Spartan army have they inside. They, they weren't lived traveling. Inside. Nicole. Also, they were always. They were what do you think? Ninjas army. get like running water and yes. geishas twenty four seven. Yes. They, no. They Assassins. They they're disciplined. They're not, Spartans. They're not they soldiers. Eat like Fuck it. I imagine the parties are like they're, raucous fucking. Yeah, dude. Yeah. Sex Until you start seeing all crazy. those friends that you're making at these parties die left and right. And then it starts running a fucking. It yeah, starts getting on your, your mind. Here's what you're not you don't thinking about. Be there. When you're a ninja dude, if we're all sitting in ninja outfits and all of a sudden Mike gets up and walks away and you come over to me, you peel off. Again, we got the ninja outfit on and you're like, I got to be honest, man. Feeny's been fucking annoying today. And I go, I'm Feeny. You can't tell because True. you can only see our eyes. Well, we end up talking shit about the wrong person. We'd definitely be able to tell which ninja is Brendan. Yeah, yeah because <laughs> the, the cheeks would be coming up. Yeah. Beverly Hills ninja the, Brendan. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> No, you definitely got to take. You're gonna. It's gonna be a crazy wildlife right until the moment a spear goes right through your heart. Yeah, yeah. you have no idea how to defend yourself because you weren't trained properly. In Spar you're talking Sparta, right? Yeah, Sparta, dude. Ninja is not even learning like how to fight. It's also learning how to control. I know, up but here. I don't want to learn discipline. I want to go out in a blaze of fucking glory. If oh, there's okay. anybody who lacks a discipline, I like that. Yeah. I rack a riddle, Deja Priest. <laughs> <laughs> we're going to cut that. <laughs> no, we're not. Cut it. Do that in a clip. I'm sorry. There goes so your clip. SNL career. Everyone, please <laughs> aim your microphones yep. at me. I would like to apologize. And pull up the Red yeah. Easy episode. I'd like That's to apologize the for uh, making those comments. I was wrong. And uh, I'm going to do better. And I'm going to be better. Thank you very much. And donate your yearly income to the. Uh, that's all the questions I have. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's, 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 that's all the questions I have for myself right now. <laughs> More to come in the car. <laughs> Again, so sorry. <laughs> Goodbye. <laughs> <laughs> He's so sorry. Yeah. <laughs> uh, I fuck you long time. Uh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> dude, you would be the best ninja. You're right. Like, yeah. no, 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 you're right, Brendan. <laughs> yeah, dude. You you chose yeah. right. Brendan has Whopper sauce on the fucking shoulder. Every time it's you just... see all these fucking low hanging fruit, yeah. you know? Every you, time you, you don't see... eat them. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Every time you see you a mean ninja... the other sugar? <laughs> the, the, the nature well, they sugar? They say don't have apples. There's, <laughs> there's sugar in apples, so I stay away from it. Oh, perfect. But... <laughs> Brendan Bren eats rotten apple core in the slop. <laughs> <laughs> Gladly take a bear claw of an apple any day of the week. Yeah, I'll put a little an apple pie. That's maybe. the good sugar, the yum sugar. <laughs> <laughs> I even forgot what I was going to say, but, <laughs> but ninjas all the way? Yeah. All right. All day USA. <laughs> I, I'm I'm in agreement with you. I would rather be a ninja too. I just loved how just like absolutely not <laughs> Sparta. Yeah. And then your reason is because they don't have inside. Yeah, inside. They don't have, oh, did anything, <laughs> come, like out of, did anything come up about the insides? Oh, I didn't even bother to look that up. Okay. <laughs> but, a, but a ninja Perfect. warrior is is one with nature. They're truly making them. So, so that's also outside. Yeah, but they're only outside for the night when they're going off and killing or spying. Then they go back to the you don't dojo. Think you don't think, oh, so it's all. <laughs> you want to hang in the dojo. I want to hang in a dojo. It's all, it's all gojo and miso soup to you, but it's. <laughs> <laughs> it's yeah, a lot of place. creeping and crawling. You know the they're having <laughs> yeah. Like I prefer chili. Do we have chili? <laughs> yeah, can we get McDonald's? Miso again? <laughs> As Brendan's sneaking up, he's just. I'm now running my Sparta scenario in my head, and I'm like, is there inside? I'm like outside the field working. <laughs> 
And then all of a sudden, a fire happens. We're eating dinner, and we're I pass out on the ground. Guess what kind of inside? inside. They have to have like the the yurt at least. Yeah, like Like, a hut. Like like whatever Achilles went into to bang that slave girl, Rose Byrne. That's it. They have go live in a yurt. Then I'm good in a yurt, Yurt. bro. Go live in a yurt for two years, probably. Deal. I'm Go like live a in fart. a fucking rice paddy in a. Yeah. They have beds tent. there, dude. How do you know? No, they're, they're they have cots. they have cots they're like sized cots. for an Asian. Yeah. You will need three. <laughs> oh, I broke on my cot. <laughs> <laughs> you are on cot number four. <laughs> Can uh, do we have any more cots? It's typical Spartan home to be made of sun dried mud bricks with clay roofs. Oh, those are expensive. So it's like an adobo. Yeah. They're yeah. Perfect. When, when they're on the road, though, like when they're at war. Yeah. They're it, always they don't at have, war. They don't have time to build adobos on the road. Yeah. They, no, they're never living outside, dude. But we're at war. Yeah, or they're going into people, like going into the towns that are right, around, ravaging. Like, ravaging. Right, but ninjas are just sleeping in shadows. Melanie Decker says, if you guys were on the MTV show Next, what would your stupid random facts about yourself be? Do you remember the show Next? No, I don't even know what that there is. Was a, there was a show in the early 2000s called Next, and it was a show where it was a dating show, a blind dating uh-huh. show on MTV, where they would pull up in a bus, and it would be, they would cut to the either the men, if there was a, a girl, or a girls, if there was a guy or whatever, and they would have, like, you know, the guys, all the single eligible guys would hang out, and they would all have their different personalities, and they'd always be talking shit to one another. Sometimes they got, like, together, and they were like best friends or whatever. Lost fake boobs. But then as they got off, as they were called on to the date, they would they would have like a weird tagline like this, like wants to live off his parents at <laughs> 30. All three of those facts. Love those fake boobs. Awesome. Cursed, <laughs> cursed out <laughs> Barry Bonds in person. Yeah. And it's also from that guy. It's like, you know oh. what he cursed him out. Oh, yeah. My, um, uh, my friend at his own bachelor party, it's the only bachelor party I've ever done in Vegas, but we were at, you know, whatever, where you get a bed or a, uh, an area and it costs six million bucks. And Joachim Noah started walking by and my friend who went to Villanova screamed at him and was like, you ruined my college basketball experience. <laughs> Florida, right? Fuck yeah. you. Yeah, yeah and he yeah. was like, did you play? And my friend was like, no, I watched. <laughs> <That's fucking> hilarious. <laughs> and and yeah. you beat us. But it was always, it was like <laughs> yeah. a over the top, it was almost like a comedy, it was a cartoon essentially dating show. And then eventually when the girl got sick of the guy, okay. she'd go next and eliminate yep. one and then the next one would come up. Yeah. So, this is basically what it is. So it, it was always, but people had these insane things like that. Also, that guy, that guy's poor hairline. This far, yeah. I'm rough. like, dude, this is the rough. best version of you. Yeah, yeah. all down yeah, yeah. for you. It's um, so 2000s. So what would your guys? He's a woman now. So, uh, <laughs> what, what would your guys' uh, fun fa- random facts be? Oh my like god! This? Now I'm thinking to myself in my 20s. Oh, are we in our 20s here? Yeah, yeah we, I think we got to go back to that dude. Now it'd be like, loves to take naps. Dude. <laughs> yeah. Like, <laughs> yeah. Family man. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, mine would be. Can't wait to pay for braces. <laughs> afraid of going in for the first kiss. <laughs> uh, we'll probably not do it. My early 20s, one would definitely be about like. Mine would be like no rubbers like, <laughs> <yeah>. <laughs> until I would, die. That'd probably yeah. be the one I'd let go out. I'm like, yeah. Mine would be some. Mine there would definitely be one drinking one, like like you know, like oh, yeah. let's do shots yes. or like yes. has never yes, lost yes, a beer dude. pong game yeah, in your yeah. life. Just flexing uh, that you like, can drink. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Just flat making that an identity. Beer yeah. pong champ. Yeah, beer pong champ of like the loftest house for the uh, 2004 to six. And then <laughs> uh, I would also have something about concerts in there being like you know, like avid mosh pit or oh, something yes, like dude. that. That's, that's, your, that's where your lifestyle hobbies section. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, exactly. Yeah. Mosh, mosh pitting. Yeah. And then yeah. I might even throw in like a, uh, like a thing that I did as like a very tertiary hobby, but also tried on his identity for a while. Just like, like knows how to surf, but like, you're going to have to just wait and see if I get yeah, the there'd water. Yeah, there be like a cunty I mean? little twist yep. on yeah. it. Like, yeah. like, don't even try to argue about movies with me. Yeah, you know? yeah, yeah. <laughs> like, like, that like would that. be me. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Man, I might show you with... a good film, a picture. <laughs> 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 might show you a good picture. <laughs> then, yeah, something like that would be mine. It'll all be very... Uh, be like very and because you have to like also play that character very hard they really want like big person oh feeney like, swings oh. out of the bus he's like once you've had my chicken chicken piccata you will not uh want to leave <laughs> <laughs> all right stumbled uh, yeah stumbled. Uh, no, but i got there like, horse right there. broke the leg out <laughs> of the again. gate the landing gear <laughs> it was slow to go down but it got there uh there were sparks everywhere i, I guarantee you this though every one of mine would be undertones of insecurity yeah oh, yeah. oh, oh please of like me yeah. please mine like me be, but like, that could be your trump. thing you'd be yeah. the desperate guy 
Yes, everything would be like, <laughs> I just got back from my penis reduction surgery. Like, yeah, <laughs> yeah, dude. Please, guys. Please. It, just it kidding. I'm so all, sad. Look at it's it. It's just you in a bandage. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it would all be like, mine would all be trying to be funny, and they would be like yes. kind of obnoxious and yeah. shit, like, shit like, like that. Nobody wants to be with this. <laughs> well, fucking, yeah, yeah. Was, I get off um, the bus, but like, get back on. Oh, shit. I, I used to say a lot when I was a kid for a laugh, like, uh, if someone asked me my favorite color, I would go black, like the color of my soul. Look. Oh, oh, oh. And oof. it was wait. Brutal. Would you would seriously though? Would you do the whole whole, whole that part? No, 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 no. no, no. no. That was, this uh, is coming from no bread. Yeah. Instead, he hating would that kid. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Instead, he just say it. I, it would kill. Oh, I bet. My right, first kill my, with fucking. My first line would be first member of NSYNC to ever make the NBA. <laughs> <laughs> I'd be in. I'd be in both. I'd probably try try to brag about some sort of wealth that I had not accumulated yet. Oh yeah. <laughs> Yeah, it'd really? be definitely about to like, run, gonna be super rich someday. Yeah, yeah. get on board now, ladies. Professional yeah. poker player, but looking for something more permanent. Yeah. <laughs> Dude, no, you'd yeah. have to. You'd have to say professional poker player looking for my royal flush. Oh God. no, my queen of hearts. Queen my of queen hearts. of hearts, because yeah. I'm. He's like, even though there's one of I'm me, the I'm four of a kind. Because I'm the king of jizz. <laughs> yeah. He's just ruined. You'd be like, well, <laughs> recently, there's no, there's no suit with jizz. Yeah. <laughs> Nicole, what would yours be? I don't know if like early twenties. Yeah. I don't know. I feel like so I was like a year ago for you. Okay, I feel like I was in a really hard phase of just being like I'm not like the other girls kind of oh, vibe. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Just like yeah. just like the worst of the worst type of person. Hope you can so, handle me, kind of thing. Yeah, like, like right. it just, might be a lot. Yeah, I like, get along I'm not, with boys. No, but I get the whole like I don't get that. Yeah. other. I'm not like the other. You girls. haven't like, figured me out yet. I mean, that was honestly yeah. like one of my attractions to Erica too. Is that she was like. She would she listened she'll listen to also like Jimmy E World, but then also hardcore music and was at like in mosh pits and everything, and you're like, fuck yeah, that's badass. You yeah. know? You yeah. want to find a girl that if she had a dick, she'd be your friend. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah. I, well, yeah. Mine would have like <laughs> uh like Green Day quotes on it and shit. Like right. don't want to be an American idiot. <laughs> <laughs> that would, yeah, dude. <laughs> right. Dude, come on. Right. You're good. Thanks, man. That's cool. You're good. <laughs> You're good, dude. You're good. That's cool. <laughs> dude, that sounded like you were a ref at the Special Olympic <laughs> no, helping somebody up. Across the finish. I would man, love that it. job. You made it. I would love that job. <laughs> Just yeah, a poor nice. rogue I would kid chasing so the butter. <laughs> and I would try to race those kids and stuff. It would be fucking yeah. awesome. Yeah. But no, you were good. That was good. Yeah. Let's. How about you and me go for a race? They're like, no. <laughs> Get it alive. What? <laughs> That's our show, everybody. Thank you very much Oof. for uh, watching. <laughs> yeah. Go follow Steve. That's every time. <laughs> Go follow Steve and uh, support him. And come see us live on the road, damn it. Uh, we love you guys. See you next week. Bye. Bye.